morning, sirs, madam. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> species of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt, this thing. It's... it's a dinosaur. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm hmm You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <gasps> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Grant, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots. Which is fine by me, because they've only got herbivores on this side of them.
You'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So I'm kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh. It's a Velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. <laughs> they remember. Let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Well, these cages aren't gonna be big enough. You can barely fit a goat in them. <laughs> That's better. Now we just add cap. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel?
Taking you for a meal. Sorta. Fresh beef, huh? Oh, those raptors eat better than I do. Hey, Karama! Is it morning already? Oh. Oh. Ah, my knee! Lo siento, I cannot go on. I have not been racked with such pain as this since I stubbed my toe. Someone else must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. Oh, no, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the road we're here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the <gasps> butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <gasps> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's alright, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Yes, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. Alright, 
So she's suffering from meliotoxicity. Hey, did that taste nice, Sarah? Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six-ton dinosaur after her. dilated. Dr. Sattler, she's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Out to the car! There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Part of the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. You need another hint? No problem. I don't fancy that dino's chances of balancing on the trunk. Better make another way over for her. Someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I 
Can't blame them for wanting to get out of this weather. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Once we get past this fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time. off the gate winch come on I bet some greedy dino ate it Many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Right Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo, and the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis, <laughs> our lives are in your hands, and you have butterfingers. I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead, all of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, D-Stock. <laughs> 